people at home that it doesn't work with me. I need you to be a grown up. Thank well, you. They look good. And I will have some, but I am, um, you know, with a cup of tea or something. Yeah. That sounds good. I promise. Some right. water, at least, some water with it. Yes, miss. Uh -huh. In the coral. <laughs> Oh, how much of each character is in you? We can't even tell anymore. <laughs> right? You do it so long, all day in, day out. I don't yeah. know. Do you become the role, or does the, or does the role become you? Thank you. <laughs> My little brownie though. over there. But when it first started, Gabrielle was so much younger than me that it was kind of weird trying to go through my adolescence again. It was a, a nightmare I didn't need to revisit, you know. <laughs> but normal, you know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, what do I do? Way at the back in the black t-shirt. Have we read or seen what? The secret. The yeah, secret. it makes me feel really guilty when things crap out because then I go, I just didn't want it hard enough. I didn't want it in the right way. I wanted it too much. <laughs> That's what the secret did for me. I, I think, and, and, and I've, so in being that, as a, uh, as a man, um, I'm going with the everything happens for a reason, you know. <laughs> I'm going with that philosophy because I have no control over anything. You yes. know, I actually think, I think there's a lot to manifesting your desires you know I think that that's absolutely true I think what you put out you attract back you know which is what you're saying but but then uh, some things are bad huh some things are not so great so you just have to sort of think well maybe there's a bigger lesson in it all is that what you just said pretty much I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I said okay anyway. <laughs> yeah and sometimes you have to take the action first and then things like you have to say we were driving to the show the other night and I said to Sharon do you remember me like before the first Roxy show, I would have these horrors at 3 a.m. in the morning saying, who am I to think that I can get up there and do that show? Just because I said I would, then I had to like follow it. Sometimes you have to say that you will to be propelled in a new direction. Say it even though you don't know that you're ready. If your desire is there, just say it and start following through. And other people will jump on board to make it happen. Or if they don't, if, if, if doors are being shut in your face, as it happens to me and... and Ren and all of us, cut the damn trap door, man. Make something happen for yourself. Don't just, but yeah. start the process. I always think of it as the box. You're always working outside the box. Okay, everyone says this, you can only do it this way. That's what I always say. And I thought, but why? I always ask, why? Why is that the only way to do it? So I'm always going, well, what if we do this? And then if that doesn't work, okay, well, what if we go over here? So it's funny because I always feel better when I have the, the freedom of looking around at their opportunities to make something get me to where I want to go because that I get it's when someone just says no that it, I just that confuses yeah, me. Yeah you gotta be a, the little red hen. Yeah. All right I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not always fun I mean there's a lesson in that too as I know with diamonds and guns you know it's just like geez you wonder well when do you when do you actually say enough's enough you know what I mean I went there was a lot of that on the film as I kept going yeah, but you just I don't know I think it's a gut you're gonna go so I'm just do wondering if check. they want me to leave so you can mm -hmm. have Oh, ten minutes, and then I will leave, Do and Ren will. Okay. Oh, anyway, we won't talk about diamonds again. So. I'll talk about you later, because it's still not. I'm no, sorry, I didn't want. To, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. Sorry. <coughs> we'll do question. That young lady there. <coughs> Hi. Hi. What is our favorite and least oh, favorite? Oh, I know. Thing I know what it is. She knows already. I didn't think about it. No. The <laughs> thing that. I used to do that would really piss Renee off when we go, let's go through a scene or she's trying to learn a scene for a play. And she's like, okay, let's just run through it, just do it flat. And I would always, no, I read the lines like they're real, like, and I'm, I'm really there. Or I try to imagine it and sometimes it's, anyway, it's not what she wanted. She just wants you to read it flat. Can you just read it flat? And she's really trying to keep a lid on her anger, you know. <laughs> Lucy, can you just... <laughs> and I went, I don't do flats. <laughs> okay, and here's my perspective. 
so this will be what, okay. And I'm thinking, can't we just get through the lines? Like, um, you know, you get them as fast as you can to see if you know the words. Because then once you know the words, then later on you can just play and do whatever you want. But let's just get through the words. Get the words as fast as you can. <laughs> no, I'm emoting. Wait a minute. <laughs> this, this, <gasps> yes, this sentiment's going to take some time. But then, you know what, but what was great about that is then we really learned how to work together because I think I went off to Barbie, the makeup artist, I'm like, can you just do it? <laughs> just run the lines flat, no problem. <laughs> and then I was like ready to go and then Lucy would come on and then it was like boom, you know. But, but by the end, um, I realized that my technique of working, I needed to adopt more of Renee's approach. Oh, no, right. no, no. <laughs> no, I think that our style in the end kind of uh, had to borrow from each other a right. little bit. You know, you had to. I stopped studying. Is what you're saying? Oh, she, <laughs> she stopped. I stopped learning. She stopped working so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah. I, mean, I had. Yeah, I can fly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen her. Yeah. Yeah, but I have trouble with, you know, that. And brownies, yeah. And <laughs> Gabrielle. Gabrielle, yeah. Go stand up, come on. <laughs> the show is so well written, and your characters are thanks to Steven and everybody else. How has being on the show changed your life, and um, what have you learned from your characters? Oh, jeez. Well, we both got married. <laughs> Out of the show, right? Yeah, children. Um, what have I learned? Oh gosh, it always takes me a minute. Ask Lucy. <laughs> what have I learned? <laughs> hmm. uh, I learned complete surrender. Surrender? It's really? To, to the demands of the show. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that was tough. Just couldn't. I love that you're not actually interested in the answer. <laughs> I have a <laughs> That's my kind of fan. <laughs> well, she's not wearing a Xena costume, so I should not expect to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just me. I understand your language, don't worry. Hilarious. <laughs> Think about that one. I'm still thinking about that one. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, as ever. I'm cr oh. cutting you off. <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting you off. No, I don't even, I don't, because oh. I, I, I have to think about, I don't know why I have to think about it. There's so much, I guess, what haven't I learned about the Gabrielle, or myself, because of Gabrielle. It was such an incredible time in my life of just becoming a, a per, real person, you know what I mean? Because it was my 20s, and you learn that it's not, you know, you have to learn it's not all about yourself, because when you're young, you just, you think everything is just your universe, you know what I mean? And it's like, how am I affected by things? And suddenly you have to go, wait a minute, wow. You know, you just grow up, and and so that, it was huge. I, that alone is a lot, you know, just, and, and just working nonstop and away from your family, and it's just, it was a lot of maturing, so it was good. Yeah. What's that? I said, but New Zealand's nice, right? And New Zealand's nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Can oh, I come on here? No, this little girl's oh, still sorry, standing right, here. Standing. Sorry. Sorry. She's probably 40 years old. <laughs> but she probably comes from Lafayette, Indiana. Like, I know, I know. The water's beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I want to say the best birthday ever. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, honey bun. <laughs> she just turned 16 well, it's great today. To sweet 16. Happy birthday. Hey, Happy birthday, honey. That's a pretty nice gift. My son had a Star Wars name? party in our What's house. your name? Sorry. Pardon? Holly. Holly. Oh, I love that name. That was on our list of names. If we had a girl. Happy <laughs> birthday, Holly. But isn't that a nice gift? What a great mom. Jeez. It's extravagant. Woo. Yes, to come and see that's us. So nice. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's fabulous. That's <laughs> <laughs> fabulous. Miles wanted to have a Star Wars party, so just a couple weeks ago. So I dressed up as a Jedi. You know, I mean, that's all he got. <laughs> My mom was Princess Leia. She had, <laughs> she had this little wig on. She looked like the, the, you know, the short, short cook chef that you find in Threadgills, or you know what I mean, with, the, with her hair on the big bun, and she's walking around. And I, Iris was Yoda, so we got a little Yoda. <laughs> so, you know, it's not very different from here, really, is it, you know? 
Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Things you do. This. Okay. Oh. What do you Lucy want to do? Lucy has obligations. Sign something. In here? No? I'll sign it. for the blue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You might have to remind me. I'll run off. Obviously, we all love the show and y'all's acting. That's why we're here. But I wanted to tell y'all that I got a whole new respect when I read about the charity work that you do and the things that y'all do for other people because so many celebrities don't care about what's going on outside of their little world. And we really appreciate what y'all do for us. Oh. Well, thank you very much. That's fine. Is your name Holly? I remember you. Yeah, from the photo op. You're amazing. Wow, you're uh, uh, fostering 15 children. Or, yeah. Isn't that amazing? It was a an nine, amazing She's got story. nine kids at home right now. Fostering. Nine kids at home. I read Holly. them all. I know. Yeah. It's funny because your, um, your letter really just reminds me why I'm here because, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah, the fans are really inspirational. Yeah. They, they do a lot of work. You guys they, are amazing. Uh, it's very humbling. Thank you. Yeah, you know, and, and it's... <laughs> is that a fart joke? No. <laughs> oh, it's no, a baby. No, 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 it's, it's her foster baby's in the bag. You're waking her up. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, sweet This lady on the, on the right. Okay. Oh, shh. Yes, you, miss. Oh, where is she? <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh. <laughs> My daughter's trying to get your attention. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. She is an awesome mom. Awesome. And I just want to thank you not only because you are so good to your fans, both of you, and thank you for that, but also you're so great to the gay community. And I, um, it helped a lot when I was coming out and you guys were like, oh, we love our fans. We don't care. And that was wonderful to read. But I know while the show was on, you couldn't really say, but now 12 years later, in your opinion, <laughs> I think in the end, I think they were, weren't they? Did, was that, that implicit in the script? Yeah, was it in the script, Steve? Just in your opinion. <laughs> in your opinion. In your opinion. Now thinking back. It's, you know, it's funny. First, I have to comment on what you said before, because what's great about the show is that it makes people stand up. You know what I mean? There's no hiding, period. I loved that. You know, you, you have to be brave. You have to be courageous. You have to be comfortable with who you are. And that's the best part of the show. So... I mean, whether or not we're kissing, hey, all right, you know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It just it seems sort of, um, it's not the bigger picture. And I understand that it's, it is a big, important, you know what I mean? I get that completely. They're, um, she's, they're, but they're saying, say were the characters gay or not? And I think I've already been on record saying, yeah, I think they probably were in the end. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> I just, I'm still going no. for the bigger. Yeah. Good for you. See, that's great. She walked yep. in her first gay pride parade. Why not? That's fantastic. Yeah. Good. Isn't that amazing? That's great. Wow. I wish more shows right now just took a stand or had a voice that was really specific, you know? I think um, that would be really good. I, I just want people to stop shaming other people to death. Yes. That's all it's about. Yes. Like children, nobody chooses to be what they are. So let's stop making people feel lousy about the way they're born. Yeah. Color, pre, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Actually say enough's enough. You know what I mean? I went, there was a lot of that on the film as I kept going. Yeah, but you just, I don't know. I think it's a gut. You're going to go so I'm just do wondering if check. they want me to leave so you can do have a oh, 10 minutes and then I will leave do and Ren will, okay. Oh, anyway, we won't talk about that. Again, so. I'll talk about you the leader because there's still much. No, sorry. I didn't, <laughs> want to, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. Sorry. <clears throat> we'll do question. That young lady there. <clears throat> Hi. Um, all right, what's your favorite and least favorite thing about one another? <laughs> what is our favorite and least oh, favorite thing? Oh, I know, I know what it is. She knows already? I didn't think about it. No. <laughs> the thing that I used to do that would really piss Renee off, when we go, let's go through a scene, or she's trying to learn a scene for a play. And she's like, okay, let's just run through it, just do it flat. And I would always, no, I read the lines like they're real, like, and I'm, I'm really there, or I try to imagine it, and sometimes it's... Anyway, it's not what she wanted. She just wants you to read it flat. Read it flat. Can you just read it flat? And she's really trying to keep a lid on her anger, you know. <laughs> Lucy, can you just read it flat? So and I went, 
I don't do flats. <laughs> okay, and here's my perspective. So this will be what, okay. And I'm thinking, can't we just get through the lines? Like, um, you know, you get them as fast as you can to see if you know the words. Because then once you know the words, then later on you can just play and do whatever you want. But let's just get through the words. Get the words as fast as you can. <laughs> no, I'm emoting. Wait a minute. <laughs> this, this, <gasps> yes, this sentiment's going to take some time. But then, you know what, but what was great about that is then we really learned how to work together because I think I went off to Barbie, the makeup artist, I'm like, can you just do it? <laughs> just run the lines flat, no problem. <laughs> I think that that's absolutely true. I think what you put out, you attract back, you know, which is what you're saying, but, but then uh, some things are bad, huh? Some things are not so great, so you just have to sort of think, well, maybe there's a bigger lesson in it all. Is that what you just said, pretty much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes you have to take the action first and then things, like you have to say, we were driving to the show the other night and I said to Sharon, do you remember, like, before the first Roxy show, I would have these horrors at 3 a.m. in the morning saying, who am I to think that I can get up there and do that show? Just because I said I would, then I had to, like, follow it. Sometimes you have to say that you will to be propelled in a new direction. Say it even though you don't know that you're ready. If your desire is there, just say it and start following through. And other people will jump on board to make it happen, or if they don't. If, if, if doors are being shut in your face, as it happens to me and, and Ren and all of us, cut the damn trap door, man. Make something happen for yourself. Don't just, but yeah. start the process. I always think of it as the box. You're always working outside the box. Okay, everyone says this, you can only do it this way. That's what I always say, and I thought, but why? I always ask, why? Why is that the only way to do it? So I'm always going, well, what if we do this? And then if that doesn't work, okay, well, what if we go over here? So it's funny, because I always feel better when I have the, the freedom of looking around at other opportunities to make something get me to where I want to go, because that I get. It's when someone just says no, that I just, that confuses yeah, me. Yeah, you gotta be a, the little red hen. Yeah. All right, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not always fun. I mean, there's a lesson in that too, as I know with diamonds and guns, you know, it's just like, geez, you wonder, well, when do you, when do you, have blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then I was like ready to go. And then when Lucy come on and then it was like, boom, you know. So. But, but by the end, um, I realized that my technique of working, I needed to adopt more of Renee's approach. Oh, no, right. no, no. <laughs> no, I think that our style in the end kind of, uh, had to borrow from each other a right. little bit. You know, you had to. I stopped studying. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, she, she stopped. I stopped learning. She stopped working so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah. I, mean, I had. Yeah, I can fly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen her. Yeah. Yeah, but I have trouble with you know that. And brownies, yeah. And. Br <laughs> Gabrielle. Gabrielle, yeah. Go stand up, come on. <laughs> the show is so well written, and your characters are thanks to Stephen and everybody else. But <laughs> how has being on the show changed your life, and um, what have you learned from your characters? Oh, jeez. Well, we both got married. <laughs> Out of the show, right? I had children. Um, what have I learned? Oh, gosh. It always takes me a minute. Ask Lucy. <laughs> what have I learned? <laughs> hmm. uh, I learned complete surrender. Surrender? It's really? To, to the demands of the show. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that was tough. Just couldn't. I love that you're not actually interested in the answer. <laughs> People at home, <laughs> it doesn't work with me. I need you to be a grown up. Thank you. Looks, they look good. And I will have some, but I am, um, you know, with a cup of tea or something. Yeah. That sounds good. I promise you. Some water, at least, some water with it. Yes, miss. Uh -huh. The coral. <laughs> oh. How much of each character is in you? We can't even tell anymore. <laughs> right? You do it so long, all day in, day out. I don't yeah. know. Do you become the role or does it? Or does the role become you? Thank you. <laughs> My little brownie over there. 
But when it first started, Gabrielle was so much younger than me that it was kind of weird trying to go through my adolescence again. It was a, a nightmare I didn't need to revisit, you know. <laughs> but normally, you know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, what do I do? Way at the back in the black t shirt. Have we read or seen what? Yeah, it makes me feel really guilty when things crap out because then I go, I just didn't want it hard enough. <laughs> I didn't want it in the right way. I wanted it too much. <laughs> That's what the secret did for me. I, I think, and, and, and I've, so in being that, as a, uh, as a man, um, I'm going with the everything happens for a reason, you know. <laughs> I'm going with that philosophy because I have no control over anything. You yes. know, I actually think, I think there's a lot to manifesting your desires, you know. That's what it's... I have a... <laughs> That's my kind of fan. <laughs> well, she's not wearing a Xena costume, so I should not expect yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. I understand your language, don't worry. Hilarious. <laughs> about that one. I'm still thinking about that one. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, as ever, I'm cutting <laughs> you off. I'm, I'm cutting you off. No, I don't even, I don't, because oh. I, I, I have to think about, I don't know why I have to think about it. There's so much, I guess, what haven't I learned about the Gabri or myself because of Gabrielle? It was such an incredible time in my life of just becoming a, a per real person, you know what I mean? Because it was my 20s and you learn that it's not, you know, you have to learn and it's not all about yourself because when you're young, you just, you think everything is just your universe, you know what I mean? And it's like, how am I affected by things? And suddenly you have to go, wait a minute, wow. You know, you just grow up. And, and so that, it was huge. I, it, that alone is a lot, you know, just, and, and just working nonstop and away from your family. And it's just, it was a lot of maturing. So it was good. Yeah. What's that? And New Zealand's nice. Yeah. Hello. Can oh, I go ahead? No, this little girl's oh, still sorry, standing here. Sorry. She's probably 40 you. years old. <laughs> but she probably comes from Lafayette, Indiana. Like, I know, no. I know. The water's beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, honey bun. <laughs> she just turned 16 well, it's great today. To have sweet 16. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday, honey. That's a pretty nice gift. My son had a Star What's your Wars name? party in our What's house. Your